You know, I really have to admire people who go out and exercise and they lose that spare tire. So this is a really nice park and it has some great trails, has a place for uh, skateboarders, basketball, there's a dog park, really kind of nice. So I'm going to start testing out these new shoes that you saw me put on and I'm also going to see how many steps I can get in by taking a couple laps. So I'm trying out these new shoes that I heard about on WDW prep to go and it's really good. I'm really glad that I listened to Shannon from the podcast and I'll put the link into the notes because it's an amazing podcast. But she was talking about these particular shoes and I thought, you know, I should probably get a pair because I have been buying cheap shoes for far too long. And I will be the first to tell you, these are incredibly comfortable. They're brand new and I've never had brand new shoes feel comfortable before. I've always had that stiffness these are amazing. I'm going to put more information in the link, but my gosh, uh, this is a, this was a really wise decision. Uh, so thank you, Shannon from WW Prep to Go. Uh, I think you've saved my feet. <laughs> so, well, I've only gone a very short way. Uh, looks like I have a, a little bit more to go here. To uh, I want to at least finish the course, and well, we'll just keep going. So, so far, the shoes have been really nice. Now, I am getting a little foot discomfort only because my feet are used to really just poorly made shoes. I, I've been buying cheap shoes. So, I'm expecting this to change because my foot is being corrected, which is not a bad thing. So, I'm really enjoying this so far and I'm getting a lot of good steps in. Uh, it's, it's about 10.45 and the humidity is already 100%, so it's becoming a little more challenging to do it. But I also brought with me something I wanted to test, which is called the Circle Water Bottle. And this is one that I got, uh, it's a starter kit for $5. You get the bottle, and then you get these, what's called a sip. And the sip is actually a flavor. The flavor is actually in this tube right here. Um, and what's nice about this is you can actually change how much flavor you would like. So right now I just have it set on water and uh, I'm going to try level four because I don't know what this tastes like so I don't want to overpower it, but let's give it a shot. Level four, here we go. Yeah, so <clears throat> level four might not be for me, it's a little, it's a little on the weak side, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna boot, boost it up to six. Let's see if that works. Yeah, we'll try it down to five. It's kind of nice <clears throat> because <clears throat> what you're getting, <clears throat> this one is a, a berry flavor, and so I'm trying different ones. You can get a set uh, you can choose which ones you'd like so I chose fruit punch and berry and I think also it just kind of depends on the flavor itself so let's we're gonna try number five now yeah there we go looks like level five is the way to go at least for me on this one so I'm gonna carry this around with me a little bit longer we're gonna see how well it works through the day and I'll give you guys a, uh, another review on this so we'll, we'll check it out so back to getting more steps and breaking these shoes in so let's go uh, let's go explore This is also a great area if you like to geocache. 
And for those of you who don't know, geocaching is a game where you use your GPS, <coughs> excuse me, and your, or smartphone and try to find containers left by other players. There are a few of them in this park and they're really pretty cool. So you get a nice uh, walk in or jog, if you will, and you can also go geocaching, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, so give it a shot. If you never played it before, go to geocaching.com and uh, you might get hooked. It's really a lot of fun. Well, I put in about three miles and I thought that would be long enough to just break in the shoes slowly, get some steps in, get a little exercise in, and then I'm going to give my feet a rest, let the shoes rest. I read somewhere that anytime you get some new shoes that you should absolutely, uh, you know, just go a little bit. Don't try to, don't try to go too far. Uh, so far, the, the circle water bottle has been pretty good. I've drank quite a bit of water so far, so that's definitely a positive. Now I'm going to go rest my feet. I decided to take a detour uh, before I went home and I am at a park and this place is filled with history. This is the Hudson Nash Farm Yellow River Post Office and there is so much history right here because this was a farm that had slaves and today I am here because there is a Juneteenth celebration but moreover my son who uh, is still asleep because he's a teenager <laughs> uh, he is a descendant from slaves his great-grandfather's great-grandfather was a slave and we were able to visit the fields where he was working in as a slave and we were able to see his name on the African-American Memorial on U Street in Washington, D.C. So the subject is very close to us and knowing that his grandfather was talking with him about some of the things that he experienced as a young boy and growing up in America and it just blows my mind that here's a gentleman, his grandfather, who was serving in the military and hotels would not allow him to spend the night. I, it just, it blows my mind. It, it's, I, I just don't understand the hate people have in their hearts. It, I just will never understand that. So I wanted to show you this area. It's beautiful, but it has a lot of history. And I think it's well worth uh, taking a moment to just showing you uh, what this is, uh, what's happening today. This is kind of a rare opportunity because behind me is a general store and normally this place is locked up. Um, when I was in, when I was doing my portrait photography, this was the background for a lot of photographs and it's really exciting to be able to go in here and see what's happening. So come on, let's go take a look.
I'm really happy that I stopped in. It's not too often you get a chance to go through the buildings and really kind of take a look at things a little closely. So hopefully we'll be able to get our little guy out of bed and down there to see it. It officially begins from 1 to 5, and I was there around like 11, 30, 12. So uh, things were still being set up, but I really enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for taking time out to watch. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.